Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Brotato genetically modified overkill run. Hope you're all doing well. Um, before the expansion comes out, there's a couple cool combos I want to try out in GMO because after the upcoming expansion, I probably won't be doing modded runs for a while since we'll be playing expansion content. So I really wanted to check out some of the runs that I haven't done that I've had in the back of my head for a while as being ones that will be super fun. Today, we're just going to do... Uh, one that will hopefully be as wild as possible. We're going to play Renegade plus Multitasker and just see how many projectiles we can get on the field all at once. Um, we're going to go ahead and take SMGs here because that's the maximum number of projectiles that we can have. And we'll just see how many projectiles we can fill the entire map with. So Renegade plus Multitasker, we're going to have 12 submachine guns and all of them are going to be firing three shots each. So, that should be an awful lot of bullets. And I think this is gonna this run is going to be pretty wild by the end game. So that's that's the plan. Since we're the renegade, we do want to take even items that normally don't look good, like pencil, because we uh, need to gain additional damage from that. So we're gonna take pencil because the renegade gets plus two percent damage from every unique item you get um here attack speed is probably the pick or we could roll for harvesting i think we'll probably just roll for harvesting here i'll take luck as well luck is very good so just to remind you of these characters renegades can only use ranged weapons and uh, gain additional damage for every different tier 1 item that we have. However, their damage modifications are reduced by 80%, so that 10% damage is actually 2%. We do minus 400% damage, but again, that's reduced by 80%, so that's minus 80% damage. Multitaskers lose damage for every weapon they have, but the damage modification is only 1% because of the Renegade's passive, so those kind of work well together in that sense. And then... Uh, obviously, you can equip up to 12 weapons, which is going to be the plan. I'm going to lock Propeller Hat. It's an item we don't have yet, and it's a good item. I'm not going to lock the Dynamite, um, and I'm just going to roll for more submachine guns, because that seems really fun. So let's grab that, and then I will lock Scar as well and roll for another SMG. I'm going to take a Slingshot as well. That'll give us a lot of projectiles also, so I think that will, that will work out. Maybe we'll do six SMGs and six Slingshots and get the Synergy Tags because the bounces obviously will create a ton of projectiles also, so I think that will be pretty fun as well. Just try to fill up the map with as many shots as possible. This obviously isn't like the hardest run or most challenging run in the world, but we're just going for the weirdest and wackiest run right now, so I think that'll be very apparent with this character. I'm going to grab Harvesting here, because I'd like to get that going. We'll take a submachine gun and roll, and I'll roll past these and lock a slingshot. I could roll for another SMG, because we are fairly likely to find one, but I think for five I won't. If I hadn't already rolled a couple times, I probably would. Obviously, on Multitasker in general, you want to fill out your weapon set very early. Um, because you need twice as many weapons as every other character. So we're going to be spending a lot of money on weapons this run. <laughs> Already, even with only like four weapons, it is pretty insane how much uh, how many projectiles we're outputting. I'm going to take 2% lifesteal. We're obviously going to need lifesteal at some point this run, and it's a level 2 upgrade. And then I guess I'll take 7% crit chance. Why not? Here I will take the scar, the propeller hat, slingshot, and we will definitely lock injection. It's an item we don't have yet for renegade. And even though the percent damage is reduced, our percent damage is so low that every point is extremely valuable on renegade. Um, when you're multiplying two numbers together, having very low numbers, you want to increase the lowest numbers first. So we're going to grab the slingshot here, and I'll take head injury. I'm not going to lock the goat skull, because it, even though it is a unique item, so it's worth 2% damage for us, I think it's not worth locking that. We 
One thing that is nice is you're always guaranteed your critical hits do at least two damage, even if your your damage is um, significantly less than one per shot, because you have a minimum of one damage and the SMG criticals for one and a half times, but that gets multiplied up to the nearest whole number. So you always get at least two damage from a critical hit. So having invested in critical hits actually does increase our damage significantly, even though our individual shots are not very high damage. I'll take the luck here, because luck is always good, and we'll take attack speed, because we definitely want to be doing that in order to put out even more shots. Slingshot, injection, and head injury. We're up to six, negative 67% damage, so we're getting there. And then let's buy another slingshot, and we will lock a... Or buy another SMG, we'll lock a slingshot. Maybe I should now, at this point, buy the goat skull. Plus 2% damage for minus 2% crit chance. Is pretty bad, though. I think we'll pass on it. Again, just because I'd have to lock it in the shop, and... I want to be rolling for unique items that we actually want. Level 1 items that we don't have yet, but that are actually good for us. <laughs> Would be sort of the ideal. <laughs> we, uh, we really... We only have seven weapons so far, and they're relatively low level, so already you can see what this is going to look like in the late game. I guess I should say, um, if you are photosensitive, uh, you, you may want to run this at, like, lower speed or pass on this video, because I think it's going to be quite a lot of flashing lights in the late game. Um, we are going to pick up the luck here. Just always good to get luck going early. Okay, well, sniper gun is a lot of uh, projectiles as well. So we're going to take the sniper gun, even though it's not an SMG, it's a gun, so it'll still give us the range from the gun tag, and I think it's very on theme for this build. So we'll buy the SMG, buy the slingshot, buy the scar. We've currently got four slingshots, so I need two more to fill out my primitive weapon tag. Okay, another slingshot. Getting 34 luck is giving us these high level items early, which is pretty nice. Do I want to roll to see if I can lock another unique item? I probably do, and yeah, I'll take Claw Tree. It's still not amazing for us, but it's plus crit chance instead of minus crit chance, and we're about to buy the Sniper Gun, which benefits from critical hits quite a bit, because it's times three damage on the critical. Hoping for bouncing shots, hoping for piercing shots. Uh, Renegade has pierce already, but more pierce is better. If you're just trying to maximize projectiles. Baby with a beard would be excellent, of course, as well. <laughs> have to say, between my projectiles and the floaters, it is already somewhat hard for me to figure out what is happening on the screen. Because when you hit floaters 50 times for one damage each, they make a lot of projectiles. Luckily, they're at least quite slow moving. Um, I'll take two range damage. We definitely want to start building that pretty soon. And then I'll take the harvesting here. We can get to 20 harvesting at some point. We already have an insanity. No, we don't yet have an insanity. I have a head injury, so that will also be good for us. So which of these do I want to buy first? I guess I want to buy the sniper gun first and lock the insanity. Because uh, that uses our money pretty well, and I think it'll help with wave clear pretty efficiently as well. Sniper gun's going to benefit from our range, and since we are going to have six guns, we'll have fairly high range. And we'll be buying stuff like glasses if they show up, because... Um, you just want to buy every item, every level one that you don't have on the Renegade, so... While normally I wouldn't be buying too much in the way of... Oh, have to pay attention here. It's really hard to see. There's just too much stuff happening. Um, while normally I wouldn't be buying range, because range is a relatively weak stat, this build is going to incidentally buy it just to improve our percent damages. To say my single target damage is not incredible at this point, but once I get a little bit of lifesteal, I feel like we'll be basically invincible. Just some lifesteal and some defensive stats. 
So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I'll take an incendiary turret. The renegade projectile increase applies to turrets and stuff that you have, so that is awesome and is going to be a lot of additional uh, projectiles on the map for us as well. And it'll help with wave clear. We're doing a lot of incidental damage spread out all over the map, so this will help a lot with wave clear just by chipping away at enemy health. I'll take the harvesting here. Now we're over 20, so that helps as well. I will buy a leveled up slingshot, claw tree, and insanity. Banner I'm not going to buy because I do want higher um, lifesteal. And then we will take Dangerous Bunny here. Alien Eyes does, I believe this benefits from the plus projectile from the Renegade, but it is only eight projectiles instead of um, of 12, like you might think. It's not because it's, or, or 18. It's not times three projectiles, it's plus two projectiles. That's why Renegade doesn't work very well with Shotgun, because Shotgun already gets a lot of... Or Shredder, because those already get, like, multiple projectiles. So the more you multiply... Um, the, the more projectiles a weapon already has, the less the flat increase matters. So I'm going to pass on the Alien Eyes, but I will roll to see if there's something I can lock here. We'll lock Coupon and Charcoal. At this point, I'm just going to lock every level 1 item that we don't have, because we just want to boost our percent damage as much as possible. Also, our percent damage doesn't... <laughs> yeah, look at the, the incendiary turret go. Our percent damage doesn't apply... Penalty doesn't apply to the incendiary turret, so it's going to really help out with our wave clear. Would love a lumberjack shirt. We're going to have a hard time killing this loot alien, but I'll do my best. All right, we got it. I think the sniper gun crit it, which is how we're going to do single target damage if we ever do that. I do need some more lifesteal. 2% is not cutting it even with this number of projectiles on the field. Uh, recycling machine I'll take for sure. And I'm going to take some armor here. I want the attack speed as well, obviously. But the level 3 armor is too good to pass up. Uh, level 3 speed as well is going to be really valuable. Great. Some more items we don't have. So we'll take this. And in fact, we're just going to buy everything. Making sure to buy the coupon first. I so often forget to do that, but this time I remembered. I'll take the fertilizer for sure. And then, do I want scope? We Our flat range damage is quite poor right now, so I do need to increase that. And the 25 range would help with the base damage of the sniper gun. Um, but losing attack speed is somewhat painful. I think we're not that worried about losing attack speed. But I think I'm going to roll and just try to lock... Uh, items that we actually want more. We'll take Slingshot and Metal. So, pretty happy I just rolled past that, because I'd much rather have found those two items. That'll get us to our full Primitive Weapon Set and our full Gun Weapon Set. So then we're just going to be leveling up weapons from now on. Although, I'll swap stuff out if anything looks like it's going to be really exciting. If we find a nuke launcher or something, obviously we're grabbing that. This should be a pretty darn good wave for us, Wave 9. Because <laughs> we, we make a lot of bullets. The, <laughs> the shots from the sniper rifle and the SMGs are so colorful, I can't see the slingshot bullets because they're darker. I know they're there because I can see the damage numbers pop up from them. They're much higher damage than the sling than the SMGs, but it's very hard to actually see the projectiles. Would love, of course, to get Baby Gecko, stuff like that. I'll take Insanity, even though we already have one, it's still just going to be good for us. I could take the... 45 range. I could also just take this is 1.5% damage but again, percent damage is super valuable for this character. I think I will just grab that and then I'll take the attack speed here. I want dodge as well but our attack speed is quite poor so I definitely want to increase it. Now we will finish out our weapons. We've got 12 weapons and then I think I will buy the scope 
because it'll get me a free reroll. We're also increasing our attack speed as well, so I'm going to just buy both of these. And our flat range damage is quite terrible right now, so I do want to actually increase that. Bag is yet another percent damage increase, and we'll take the SMG here as well. Now we have our first level 2 SMG, and then I'm going to roll, grab a coffee, yet another item we don't have, and alien tongue. Um, the game isn't showing... Normally there's an icon that shows that you don't have a an item when you're playing the Renegade, but that's not showing up for this version. Uh, we'll take this, this, and this. All of these are great items. <laughs> Our cluster of attacks is really... <laughs> The, the one downside is that the enemies are dying too fast, so we're not actually getting to constantly fire and really fill up the entire world with projectiles. When we get to an elite, that'll change things. Um, also, if I find a, a gentle alien, or a mouse would be sort of the ideal play for us because we want to increase our life steal as well. <laughs> so many materials on the ground. I wish I could find a, um, a baby gecko. Do I just want armor? Do I want harvesting? I think we don't want harvesting. I could also roll for something else. I think I'll just take the armor here. Uh, just getting up to seven armor means we're much safer. And here we'll just take the crit chance. Then we will take slingshot and small magazine. I could take a crossbow, but I think that's just going to reduce the number of projectiles on screen too much. So that we can't afford to do that. Great, we found three items we don't have yet. No, two items we don't have yet because we've already got a head injury but this is still going to be some excellent damage increase for us. We're still just trying to get to like 0% damage on this character is the goal. I don't think we care about Garden. Um, pumpkin's going to be great. We have pierce damage, uh, and these items lose damage as they pierce, right? Minus 50% damage as they pierce. So adding in Pumpkin is going to increase our piercing damage. Do I want Compass? I don't think I care about Compass. Shotgun... I think it's going to be fewer total projectiles than just more SMGs, so even though it's got a lot of projectile space, it benefits less from the Renegade increase like I talked about. We have pretty good crit chance now, so if I find a hunting trophy or something, then we're in the money as well. The weather's really nice here today, uh, relatively cool, but not too cold, so I've got my office window open, and I imagine my neighbors can hear my Brotato commentary, which I expect sounds quite nonsensical. <laughs> yeah, so you can see we definitely still need a little more lifesteal. We've got, what, 4%, but I do need to increase that. But I will take the flat range damage just to make sure we've got a little more. Here's three more level 1 items that we don't have yet. So we're going to grab all of these. Even the weird ghost, which will be a little dangerous going into a horde wave, but I think we will be able to do okay. Here's another level 1 item we don't have yet, so I'll take that. I will combine and buy an SMG, and then we'll lock the metal. Roll. And here's another level one that we don't have. And then I will, for similar reasons, buy boiling water. We're spending 77 and an HP on 2% damage, but percent damage is still just so valuable for this character because it's, it's so low. The starting values are so low that you really do need to prioritize even uh, terrible deals like boiling water when you're playing Renegade. And that, that applies even to non-multitasker rene Renegades as well. Alright, so our lifesteal is enough that we bought Weird Ghost 
safely, but not quite enough to be tanking damage, so I do need to be a little careful. We also have no consumable healing, so our healing is significantly worse than other characters' healing in this at this stage would normally be. On the other hand, our number of bullets is significantly better, so... <laughs> I'm just sort of like sitting back and watching the screen glow. <laughs> Look at that. Did you see that sniper critical? Because it, it crit on uh, two shots because it pierced through three enemies. So it just made like a thousand projectiles there. We already have an injection, I think. But it's still worth taking just for the like 1% damage increase. And then similarly, I don't think we're going to build dodge on this character. So I'll just take the 12% damage. Wheelbarrow will still pay for itself for sure, so we'll grab that, we'll take this and this, and then we'll roll. And then we've got some good items. Um, we will upgrade our SMGs, lock this, lock this, and I will again just buy the snake, just for the 2% the damage increase. Alright, perfect. So we do have a couple slingshots we want to upgrade, but overall our weapon set is coming together really nicely. I'd love to find, I mean a chain gun or a Gatling laser would obviously be the best find, but that's asking for a lot. Failing that, a nuke launcher or an obliterator would be really fun as well. Or even just more sniper guns. Those would be just so much extra damage and would increase our crit chance if we had uh, more precise weapons. I do want to increase my max HP and find more lifesteal. Those are the two sort of trying to actually win the game things that we need at this point. I'll take the Leather Vest, though. It's a very efficient item. And Baby Gecko, yet another unique item for us, and increases our range. Just a, an amazing item for this character. Do I want the crit chance or just to roll? I think I'm going to roll. I'm looking for attack speed or, uh, or lifesteal, but I'll take the percent damage as well. And then here... I think I'll take the maximum HP. Crit chance would be good. Dodge is now a little more viable because we have that leather vest, so I could start trying to build dodge, but I think we just need the max HP first. We do have a level 1 SMG, so we'll buy one, and then I'm going to combine two of my level 2s, and then buy another level 3, buy the lucky charm, and roll. Another baby gecko when we already have one. Um... I think that is still worth buying here. It's extra range for the sniper gun, and attracting materials is quite good for us. And then I have a bunch of level 1 slingshots, so we'll combine two of them and then buy that. Lock the SMG. Do I want Triangle of Power? So that is basically 4% damage, and we lose... Um, what, 0.4% damage per... Yeah, 0.4% damage whenever we take a hit. I think that that is probably going to be good enough, so I will just take Triangle of Power. I don't think we're going to take that many hits. In general. And again, every point of percent damage is so valuable on the Renegade that it's, it's worth going out of your way to buy it. Once you get closer to 0%, it becomes less valuable, but um, it's still just worth putting a lot of resources into it. Yeah, so like this wave, we've taken one hit so far, so we'd have lost 
0.4% damage from the triangle, so I think we're definitely going to take a triangle here. Not making the most money, honestly, but I think that's okay. Little frog, I think I'm going to recycle. The 10 harvesting would be valuable. Maybe I should take it. Um, pickup range is pretty good. 10 harvesting will pay for itself more or less. I think I'm going to recycle it. I think we can do better than that. Then here I'm going to re-roll, and again, I guess I'm just taking percent damage. We will buy an SMG. I've already got all level 2s, so we'll buy that. We'll buy the triangle. We'll roll. A leveled up slingshot would be excellent. We have one level 1. I wish you could sort these weapons, um, but I'll, I'll combine two level 2s and buy that. We already have an alien tongue, so I don't need that, but I will lock a blindfold. And I'm going to roll once to see if there's anything that we... Uh, don't have. Do we have a butterfly? We do not. So it's lock, butterfly, and slingshot. I'm not going to buy claw tree. I want to increase my max HP, and we've already got one. Alright, so now's the real test for, for this build, is how's our single target damage doing against the elite? And I think the answer is quite well. Just because of the sheer number of projectiles on the field at once. Still, the elite is so f uh, is flashing. It's hard for me uh, so much. It's hard for me to see where its <laughs> its ground targeted slashes were, but luckily it died quickly enough that it didn't become an issue. And, ooh, two loot aliens. I'll take that. I think that's the... No, we've gotten at least one other loot alien. I don't think we have a bag yet, though. Oh, no, we do. Okay. I just stepped on those crates to see if if we got money. Um, I'm going to take a tardigrade because we have the triangle of power. Normally, I would just recycle it here, but... It's worth protecting our damage. We'll take Insanity, and I'm definitely taking Cape. It does decrease my range damage, which is still quite low, but it increases lifesteal and gets us to the point where we can actually build dodge pretty reasonably. Uh, we'll take 20 luck here. I think that will be fine. We will upgrade to a level 2 slingshot, and then I'll still take coffee, even though we have one, just because it's obviously just a great item. Butterfly gets us to 11% lifesteal, so now we should heal very quickly if we take damage. I'll take the cake, and I will, I think, take a weird ghost still. We've got one already, but our HP is quite low. We do have one, right? Yeah, we've got one. Um, but our HP is quite low for wave 15, so I'd rather just increase that. And our, our uh, lifesteal is high enough now that we can get away with it, I think. Of course, instantly punished, because I'd love to buy this bait, but we might die if I do that. But, you know what, let's live a little. Uh, we'll just see if we can survive the bait aliens. We've got 11% lifesteal, so uh, we'll see if the weird ghost kills me. Here, I'm going to take the second weird ghost, because obviously when you buy two of them at once, there's no penalty to that, and we'll buy the tree. And then, cute monkey, I will buy, even though it costs me range damage, because it gives me percent damage. All right, let's let's try to life steal. Oh yeah, I've got a tardigrade too. So actually, the the bait was totally safe to buy. Kind of forgot I had tardigrade. So all of you. Checking how much time was left in the video to see if it was worth watching this wave. Shame on you. You should have more faith. Genuinely, I'm so happy we found the, the sniper rifle, because there's so many projectiles from that. We'll recycle the frog. I don't think I have a baby elephant yet. Oh, no, I do. Uh, but I'll take one anyways. It's still just good additional damage. And then here, yep, I think we're going to get fairly close to positive damage by the end of this run. So that's exciting. We'll take a coupon. 
I've got one already, but it's still just a great item. Even this late, it's going to pay for itself. And then we've got two level two slingshots, so let's combine those and buy this one. Buy the cute monkey. Roll. I would love to... F oh, this is the perfect item for this build. Yes! I'd love to find more... Um, uh, range damage. We Our flat range damage is quite low, but having found a minigun, I mean, doesn't get better than that. We will buy... A, do we have book? We do have book, but I'll take improved tools. My attack speed is somewhat low. Do I have toxic sludge? I'm having to check each time because the indicator isn't working. We don't, so let's buy that, and then I'll roll. Mushroom I don't have either, and then now I'm going to take alienize because our HP's high enough, and it's just fun to have even more projectiles on the field, and we're past the point where I, I need to be sort of careful what I'm buying, because this run is getting on the serious nonsense end. I say this... Uh, fairly frequently when I buy weird ghosts. Like, obviously this is a modded run with a very powerful combination of whatever, so it's a little different than normal Brotato, but um, I think people under buy weird ghosts and are nervous about buying it, and it's important to know sort of how much healing you have, what protections you have, like do you have tardigrade, because uh, you can often get away with weird ghost. It's very rare that you get hit in the first 10 seconds of a wave, and most characters will have enough healing to get themselves back up to full health within 10 seconds. So, people, I think, significantly under buy Weird Ghost in, in, even in the late game. I'm gonna recycle this, obviously, it doesn't do anything for us. A little unfortunate, I wish we'd found something better there. And then here, I'm gonna take the attack speed. I could take the HP, which we do need, but attack speed is more fun, so we're gonna take that. Rocket launcher, a perfect find. Um, but here's the question. Do I combine two guns to get the rocket launcher, or do I combine two slingshots to get the rocket launcher? I think we're going to combine two guns. Losing the range is a little painful, but um, the addition of the rocket launcher, or the... The loss of the primitive weapon tag would be a little risky, I think, just because our HP is somewhat low, and I could die to the bosses if I just take a million hits in a row. So I'm going to try not to combine the slingshots where possible. And then I will buy these items, and then roll. And we found yet another one of the best possible items for us, the nuke launcher. All right, well, this has just gotten really exciting, so we'll roll here. I'll lock the power generator as well. Um... It's a pretty small amount of percent damage, but every little bit counts. And then let's go to the next wave. I don't know if we're going to be able to save up 800 this wave, but hopefully... Um, ideally, we'd be able to, to buy it for wave 19, because the nuke launcher for wave 19 will be really fun. Oh, is that a new... This black cloud, is that a new rocket launcher animation, or has it always done that? I feel like that's new. Cool. Nice to see that they're still doing, like, that kind of cosmetic update, too. All right, we did not save up enough money to buy the nuke launcher, but I will buy the power generator and the slingshot uh, roll. Ooh, a flamethrower is going to be a lot of projectiles too, but then if I do that, I might not be able to afford the nuke launcher. I think we'll pass on the flamethrower, and I'm just going to save my money to make sure we can buy this. I wonder if there's a new animation for the nuke launcher. Maybe I've just never noticed, but I, I'm like 90% sure that's new. All 
Alright, we lost our tardigrade, so now if I take hits, it's gonna be uh, a lot of extra, or we're gonna start losing damage. No! My 0.4% damage. <laughs> Would have been sweet to have the nuke launcher for this fight, but we didn't quite manage to. And uh, this will still not quite get me to positive damage, but I will take the four range damage. That's going to be awesome. And then let's get uh, some more crit chance. That seems pretty good as well. And then, oh, lemonade will put me over the top into positive damage for the end of this run. I will combine two submachine guns here. Get another level 4 submachine gun, buy the nuke launcher, buy the lemonade, and we're now at 2% damage, so we're really uh, high rolling. And then I could buy another submachine gun or another baby elephant. I guess we'll buy the SMG. I'll just uh, go down to 5 primitive weapons. Because I want more projectiles. Oh, another nuke launcher? No! Uh, this is such a good chop for us, too, but unfortunately we cannot afford it. And then let's roll again. Alright, this one's less exciting. Let's go into the next wave. 70 HP, can we survive? So, yeah, I guess the, the nuke launcher also has the black cloud animation now. Again, unless I'm just like have totally been missing that for the year that I've played this game. <laughs> and there we go. That was the Renegade with the multitasker. Um, let's see. How, how did our, our weapons do? I should have checked last wave actually, but I think probably the nuke launcher will have outpaced everything else with, yeah, 16,000 damage. Um, the rocket launcher did okay. Obviously, all of those were amazing. Alien Eyes did almost nothing because the enemies were dead before the Alien Eye shots landed. One thing that holds this item back sometimes is that the bullets travel very slowly, so they won't always actually hit anything if you have relatively fast wave clear. Overall, obviously, this was not like the most challenging run in the world, but it wasn't intended to be. We were just trying to get as many projectiles on the ground as possible, and we sure did that with, um, I think, like well over 200 projectiles in the air at most points during the end game. All right, my friends, hope you enjoyed this wild run. And of course, as always, if you have, feel free to leave a comment, uh, like the video, and you can subscribe to my channel for more Brotato and other strategy games. Cheers, folks. I'll catch you next time.